How do you stay consistent in making sure that there's no letdown during the season? When you're having a season that you are, how, how do you keep every game as a, you got to bring your A-plus game? Um, I think just week to week, coaches are really good about getting us focused at the beginning of the week and practice and reminding us before every game that it is the biggest game of the season, no matter who's on the other um, side of the net, because a win or a loss can make or break uh, you during the season, depending on who you're playing. So technically, every game really is the biggest game of the season because it could hurt you or it could help you. Do you think about this consecutive win streak thing in the Big East? Does that even come up? Um, not really. Um, Obviously, we like uh, to win a lot of games, but it's not really a conversation that we talk about. Like, we have to win all, so many games in a row. It's just kind of taking every single game um, one at a time, and hopefully the outcome is positive. Do you sense, though, that teams kind of, I mean, they want to knock you off anytime that anyone's winning. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the idea. Um, do you get that sense that teams maybe uh, kind of bring their – their A game when they're yeah. playing you. Yeah, definitely. I think this past weekend is a perfect example of that. Um, Providence definitely played their best against us, and that's what we should expect from every single team, that they're going to play their best against us because sometimes, like, I don't know, they can have the idea that we're the ones that are in the place that have to lose because we um, do have, like, a winning record. So we just have to expect everyone to play their best, which pushes us and challenges us to be better, and um, we have to be focused for every game. Yeah, I remember looking at – obviously, I didn't get to see it, but, like, the scores were really tight mm -hmm. in that first match against Providence. At what, what point did you realize that, like, this, I mean, they're going to, they're, they're not going to, like, mm -hmm. just let you take the win. Yeah. You know, like, they're going to be there and, and playing yeah. really well. Obviously, um, like I said, coaches, like, get us prepared for that. They try and lock us in on the mindset. But, um, like, teams just aren't going to give us points. We have to earn our own points. So we have to take that mentality into every single game and, um, yeah, it can be close at sometimes, and sometimes that's nerve-wracking because you're like, we should be beating a team well, but um, everyone's good and everyone can beat everyone in the league. So, um, yeah, you just have to be focused from the beginning. Gotcha. Yeah. In uh, your team's mindset to keep um, them focused on the day in, day out, because you've won so many games in a row, you got these teams coming in that on paper you should beat, and yet if you don't bring it, you're not, you're not going to – there's a chance that you may not win. Well, I think a couple different things. First of all, uh, I mean, for instance, for Friday, St. John's is a really good team. I mean, they have wins over Oregon, Duke. You know, we barely beat them, even though we swept them. All the games were by two points at their place. So our team respects them. Second of all, um, we just try to give them the information. They know what happens if we lose. So, you know, they understand how RPI works. They're fighting for a Big East championship. So, you know, that leads to them, you know, being ready to go. And then third, I think we've got phenomenal leadership. So I think they... They make sure, you know, we kind of felt like we came out flat against Providence on Friday night, and, and I think they were the ones that rallied the troops the next day to say, hey, we got to get this going and we have to be ready to go. They've had a great week of practice this week, and I think that's a testament to the leadership also. How, how much bigger is the target on this program's back when you play Big East matches this year, maybe compared to last year or year before, or is it the, the can you notice it? I mean, the teams get up, though, to play Creighton, don't they? Oh, I think, yeah, I think teams get up to play us, but I, I, I don't feel like it's any different than it's been um, since we've been in the Big East, you know, it's always kind of been Marquette and Creighton have, have been one and two. And then, you know, each year there's a team or two that's nipping at our heels and, and has, have either knocked us off or have come close to knocking us off. So understand that, you know, teams may want to beat us, but we have great respect for these teams. You know, we, we know when we step out in the court, we're playing great opponents and we've got to be ready to go. Um, what, what about the first time against St. John's really stood out? Like, why, why do you, I mean, credit to them, obviously yeah. it was close, but maybe what kinds of things are you getting, have you talked to your team about in terms of preparing for them um, this time around? Well, first of all, they were missing one of their starting outside. So we won that them down a player. So that's the other thing to, to keep in mind. Um, they've got a couple really, really outstanding players led by two sophomores, the outside, uh, they're all foreign, so I have trouble pronouncing their names, but uh, number six on the outside is one of the best outsides in the country, in my opinion, or at least in the Big East. She's a little bit undersized, probably about six foot, but uh, can just work the ball and really, really feisty. And then they've got a six, three, six, four lefty on the right side who has torn people up and is formidable. They have one of the best setters in the country, in the conference, um, a really good libero. They, they are strong everywhere. You know, I think sometimes we have teams in the league that maybe have two or three good players and then they're kind of, you can attack some weak spots. St. John's is a little bit like Marquette in the sense of they're solid everywhere.
What did you notice? You mentioned that the, you thought the veterans did a job of kind of like rallying the team and maybe uh, just sort of regrouping the right way after Friday. Um, what? Did, how did they do that? Like, how does how does is it just in the way that they speak yeah. to each other? Or yeah, and I don't know if it's it, first of all like if if I ask them about scout they know what's going on. So little things like that, if you say, how are we gonna defend this person when they're the ones chiming up saying we're doing this, it tells, I think it sends a message of, hey, we've gotta be locked in of what's going on. Um, you know, this isn't a, a cheerleader group, but they're very verbal in the sense of, you know, it's, it's a direct senior class of what needs to happen. We've gotta be ready to go. You know, if they say, hey, we need to be energized at warm up." the team does it, yeah. you know? So I don't know if it's anything flashy, but I think when they speak, they're respected, um, which I think is huge, right? Yeah.